Vince, I want you to enjoy all of these french fries because I want to talk to you about something really upsetting right now. The saddest thing that happened this year in rap was watching Lil Wayne and Birdman fall out. I think that was great. Why, why would you think that's great? Because they've had a troubled past, you know, a very interesting history. But we knew it was troubled, right? But I didn't think <clears throat> troubled to the extent of Wayne tweeting last year, I'm a prisoner, I need off this label, he won't drop my album. I thought, like, deep down, their bond was so strong that he could never get this ugly. That has less to do with the situation and more to do with Twitter control. <laughs> Little Wayne is too old to use Twitter. <laughs> and when you're too old to use Twitter, you use it, you know, poorly. And that's kind of what happened there. And, you know, they kissed on Rap City and, you know, all that's our why we thought it was gonna, to a sad end. We thought it was going to last forever. It's like kissed. Titanic. <laughs> but there's not even a resolution to the falling out, right? So, like, it's not, it wasn't a good fallout, I feel like. Yes, it was. How, but how so? Like, we still don't have Wayne's album, right? I mean, he should have stayed on Twitter and probably came out. But I love Lil Wayne, you know So this is, all, this is all Twitter's fault? I think we need, it's more, it's all Twitter's fault. I think we need a Birdman album more than we need a Lil Wayne album Stop right it. now. Yes. So my favorite thing is Wayne spent the entire year shitting on Birdman in his music, saying I'm done with cash money, young money has nothing to do with cash money anymore, and Birdman just denies it. He's just like, Wayne's not going anywhere. Love of a father. <laughs> do you think Wayne's gonna leave cash money? Is he gonna legally ever be able to be <clears throat> free, break those chains? I don't know what paper Little Wayne signed, but I know that we need another lollipop. So that's really where my focus is. It's really about getting Wayne to make another lollipop, and then after that, we can just move forward. A few months after they started beefing, <clears throat> Wayne's tour bus got shot up in Atlanta, which is scary, you know? It's cool for Twitter beef to happen, but when people are getting shot at, that's terrifying. So there was a really, really long police indictment. We read all of it, and Birdman and Young Thug were named in it. They weren't charged in anything, but they were named in it. Isn't that a little bit alarming? I have no knowledge <laughs> of any crimes that have ever taken place. Me either. With ever. that situation, ever, and especially with that situation. With that being said, free Roscoe. But <laughs> I have no knowledge of anything ever getting shot up, ever. A less intense beef that happened this year was between Bronson and Ghostface. Uh, you know, there's been comparisons ever since Bronson came out, that he sounds like Ghost. But this year he said, he's glad that, that that's a comparison because he's one of the greats, but he's not making music like this anymore. Ghost took that, didn't love it, puts out this kind of seven minute shit talking diss over some old soul beat, which was pretty amazing. What, what did you make of the whole thing? Well, that kind of falls back into a too old for Twitter, but this goes into too old for the internet. <laughs> oh no. Because Ghostface shouldn't have, he, you know he didn't put that video by self because one, he doesn't know how because I don't even know how to do that. That looked pretty homemade, though. The angles on that? He sat the, he sat the digital camera down, because it wasn't a phone, it was a camera, an actual digital okay, camera. Right. Not a DSLR, like a point and shoot with the record feature. <laughs> sat that down, recorded it, then he sent it to somebody. And they should have been like, you know what, Ghost, let's not do that. I'm on Ghostface album, and uh, Action Bronze is my friend, so I wish that never happened. It puts me in a very awkward situation. But I feel like they should play a game of one-on-one -on -one basketball. And, you know, I'll do the announcements and we'll get it cracking. Straight at the commentary. Record. All right. You know, this is funny because Bronson versus Ghostface reminded me a little bit of Vince Staples versus the 90s versus Nori versus Twitter. It was never Twitter. 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 <laughs> Nori's my friend. Now, I know you guys are friends now, but for like a good like Nori's hour and a half, a good hour and a half, he was like a little tight at you. That goes back to too old for Twitter. You're that, too old for Twitter? No, Nori's too old for Twitter. And that goes. You gonna eat? Nah, gonna I'm eat. good right now, bro. I'm gonna have one I feel fast. like I have to. See, you guys aren't being healthy. You're ignoring the kale. Now we're gonna get to the kale. Kale's I think that's kale. Right but now. you're ignoring the kale. <laughs> but Nori goes. Nori, Nori's too old for Twitter. Nori thought that he was speaking to me directly. Mm. So that's how the whole thing started. She's like, I, I didn't even know what a DM was. <laughs> right. I'm 27. Am I allowed to use Twitter? You got three more years. Wow. Okay. All right. So, so 30 is a cutoff. Three to four. Three to wow. four. Because you're not gonna want to use Twitter when you're 31. All you're saying that is Twitter. It's Twitter's fault. Well, I mean, yeah, it's Twitter's fault. I mean, so in this case, you might agree that it's Twitter's fault again. So, Meek Mill drops his album, he's got a Drake feature on it, he finds out that Drake didn't write his verse, he's so tight, he hops on Twitter, <clears throat> says Drake doesn't write his rap, stop comparing me to him, whose fault is this? Is it Twitter? Meek Mill's done that before. That's everybody else's fault for paying attention to it. <laughs> It's legit, you, you're upset, you hope someone will write their own verse on your record, but is Twitter the place to talk about it, or should he have hit Drake up? I don't care if you write your own verse, as long mm. as it's good. Okay. Okay. Did Michael Jackson write Thriller? But that's not rap, right? That's always been Who a thing cares? in rap. Okay, you don't. Who 
Okay. A lot of people. A lot of people yeah. apparently. You think or it's maybe a, not. Made it. You, you know, uh, Sugar Hill Gang didn't write rappers a lot. Right. I know, and that's what thir thirty-five years ago or that's so. That's the first rap song. The yeah. first rap song ever. It's a dude spelling another dude's name in his verse. <laughs> Do you write your own raps? Yes. Are there raps that you haven't written that you've no, spit? No, but listen, you're missing the point. In the no, first ever rap song, there's a dude who spells another dude's name no, no doubt. in his verse. But there's evolution, right? It. Yeah. Does right. it matter the kind of music? Like someone like you that's telling personal stories, right? I think if people hear that you didn't write that, maybe they'd be like, damn. Puff Daddy didn't write I'll Be Missing You. So it doesn't matter then. Okay, so we get that your stance on this, it, does, it doesn't Nothing matter. Matters. Blame yeah. Twitter, and it doesn't yeah. matter. Well, I mean, it, it, it does matter if, you know, on a personal level, but it's not life or death. Well, it's not, oh, you didn't write this, fuck you, I hate you forever. Like, it's not, you know, we, we like to not like people over small things. I wouldn't mess with Drake, he smokes hookah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the sign, it's like, don't cross us. Drake got a hookah bar at the house. He's waiting, He's, you, know, you know, you gotta really think and meditate while you're smoking a hookah by yourself. <laughs> He's not, he's not playing. Look at his like beard, the, the lineup on the beard. <laughs> he got buff. Yeah, yo, he got huge this year. Cause he has nothing better to do. Yo, his selfie game though right now, you seen the selfie of him like, I think it's in the bathroom, like at the gym, he has like the sweatband on. I think it was one of the most liked Instagram rap yeah. photos of the year. Drake has nothing better to do. Well, he, what about <laughs> all the music he dropped, right? That's why he has nothing better to do. <laughs> Drop music, take selfies, Drake put out, out. Drake put out essentially throwaways and sold a lot of records and right. everybody loved him. All right, so this beef wasn't just Drake versus Meek, then it became Meek versus Wale. Wale said um, that Meek brought a pencil to a gunfight and that he tried to paper cut Drake to death. And then of course Meek got really pissed off. Who's to blame in this situation? I blame the analogy because the analogy was really bad. You didn't think it was funny though? No. Okay. Paper cut ruined it. <laughs> So the first half was alright. And I like Wale, that's my friend, but he could he's he's way better than that. He has better jokes than that. So he should have came a little bit harder, but I mean, it happens. He has he's entitled to have an opinion. Sure. It's just funny that Rick Ross keeps telling us that things are good in MMG, Wale and Meek are fine, but it doesn't seem like they're fine because every few months, every year, there's something going on. Are we supposed to keep believing that everything's all good? It's a record label. Everybody hates everybody at record labels. Uh, that's what I'm learning. That's Is what that I learned with Cash Money. Is that the inevitable trajectory of just any, any crew, any record label? If, it's like if you had a football team and no one played any position except quarterback. Mm. You're not getting much done that way. Yeah, it's not really gonna happen. Everybody raps. Everybody got phone posits. <laughs> there's no way around it. Should we just stop believing in everything? That's where I'm at. I don't know why we believe in certain things. Is like what? It, is it really that serious? Just like, like as a fan, you want to have hope. You want to think it's cool, like Cash Money's a family, MMG's a family, but it doesn't seem like Watch Family it. Matters. <laughs> the reruns? Watch Full House. Okay. What's Classic. the new one, Blackish? What's that? Yeah, Blackish. You know, watch something like that. It's a lot of family shows. You Fresh know? Off the Boat. Fresh Off the Boat. It's a gang. Come on, man, turn on the TV. <laughs> All right, I got out. Let's not this. give up on television. All right, but we should give up But on give up on music. There was also a non-rap beef that kind of caught our eye, which was when it started, when Nicki called out MTV, actually, for not nominating Anaconda for Video of the Year at the VMAs. You guys were mean for that. So, so we, were, we were in the wrong. You'd say she had a right. I'm not saying you were in the wrong. I'm oh, saying we you were mean, mean for that. Mean. You heard okay. her feelings. That wasn't nice. Was so, yeah, so she was upset, and, and she kind of said, you know, only when, uh, videos that celebrate slim women are, are, uh, are honored. And Taylor Swift took that as a dig at her, so she called her out on Twitter. And Nikki came back on Twitter. Hey, I wasn't talking about you. I don't know why you're feeling that way. They eventually made up. They came out at the VMAs. Miley, who was hosting the show, was asked he about Nikki and said, eh, I think it was kind of mean. And then when Nikki was on stage accepting an award, not for video of the year, she gave us, of course, the now classic Miley, what's good moment. Was Nikki in the right to, in that whole situation? What do, you, what do you make of that entire ordeal? This is hip hop, bro. You're supposed to be crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? They used to, people, used to, people used to get stabbed at award shows. Well, Nicki Minaj, it wasn't that bad. It was amazing what she did. With that being said, has Adele ever won a video award at you guys' show? I don't know. That, we gotta check the, gotta check check the record the stats, books for but... that. I just came here today to let you guys know that you guys don't support Adele enough. <laughs> Even though she doesn't need it, we need more Dell. She doesn't need it, but television. we need it. But we need it. Yes, it's more about the consumer than it is the artist. What is it like to be in that fan club with the emails and everything? Everybody's in the Dell fan club. You guys have a group chat? 
No, but I get I definitely get Adele emails. I'm dead serious too. Okay. But everybody's an Adele fan club. You like an Adele song. Oh yeah. Your mother likes an Adele song. Fact. Grandma. Your neighbor likes an Adele song. That's why she's out here selling three three point five million or whatever it was. So that's really more important than anything else. Molly Cyrus does a lot of stupid things, and she she turned it down. You can't talk a lot and then turn it down and then try to pretend. Hey, look, I support you. You support <laughs> shut up, don't do that. You should have been like, you know, you should have like, you know, what, Nicki Minaj, meet me outside. Ooh. And then she should have told security when the commercial broke. But while everything was going, it was rolling. She should have just turned up real fast. Everybody else does it. All the rappers do it. Just play tough. It's easy to do. Yo, but here's the thing, right? When is it okay to just bring the hood out and just... Because Nicki Minaj is one of the realest rappers we got in the game right now. She's going to turn up in public, you know what I mean? <laughs> Shout out Nicki. I, I, that's, she's probably why Meek Mill stopped tweeting. She was probably like, nah, we're not going to tweet them or we're going to Canada. <laughs> we're going to Canada. And I, I like Nicki Minaj for that. Nicki Minaj is great. I just love the way she flipped that switch from, like, smiling on stage to, like... Because she's crazy. <laughs> you thought Nicki Minaj wasn't crazy? Nikki's great. Nikki's great. Did you, but that's not my question. Did you think she was? I don't crazy? know. I never met her. I never met her. <laughs> I'm saying she. Answer my question. I don't know, do man. You, or do you not think Nicki Minaj is crazy? I don't know. I think she's as crazy as any West Indian girl raves in the five boroughs, which I am. So yeah, we're all a little bit crazy. There you go. And she said it in the song, so you should you should have just went with that. <laughs> Two trains, you fucking crazy. Everybody knows I'm fucking crazy. Nicki Fair Minaj. Enough. You're dripping in more truffle. Yeah, yeah, and this truffle mac and cheese. You're not, you're not gonna have one. Anymore. Why are you passing the kid? We're getting healthy. There we go. Thank yes. you. Thank like you. I'm saying, you have you ever had the truffle flakes? I see. I don't even know what that means, so I think that that should tell you. They take the mushroom and they shave it. Mm. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's like like they put it on top of like mushroom. pasta or something. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. For me, it's just the flavor. It doesn't. It doesn't do it for me. I just rather have like some great fries right now. Yeah, I think they go through too much trouble to dig up truffles. To be honest, I think I saw like a doc with the dogs. Like, we go through a lot of trouble, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Are you a salad guy in general? Hell no. You <laughs> always for show? Yeah, it's for the kids. You know what I mean? <laughs> the kids are watching the show. You don't pick up the French fry right away. You eat the salad. It's kind of warm because there are lights right there and right there, but it's fine. <laughs> right. And you know, you just show the kids that sometimes you got to do better for yourself. Your role model out here. Respect it. That's what I live for. So I know I don't really like the taste of truffle. I'm not sure how the taste of Madonna's Kiss is, but Drake does know that. <laughs> um, that was an interesting moment. So does Big Daddy Kane. So does Big Daddy Kane. Woo. Let's and think about that. Supposedly tu and Tupac, Tupac right? Yeah, yeah Tupac. Tupac. Let's think about that. <laughs> Listen, a generation. So is Madonna, a few generations. Is Madonna a rite of hip hop passage? Mm. Oh. Mm. She might be. Yeah, but Drake didn't look like he enjoyed it. We just tried to lie. You don't later. you don't always enjoy greatness. Uh okay, all right, all right. That's a good point. Wow. So it was greatness though, you think? Hey, if Madonna kiss, Big Daddy Kane, Tupac, and you. We've been talking about Drake in terms of his beef and his kiss of Madonna, but he actually put out some music this year. A couple projects. If you're reading this, it's too late. That came out uh, at the beginning of the year, pretty unexpected. I think people were surprised and it it was a mixtape, right? but it crushed. Right. What'd you think of the entire rollout of that? He semi, he didn't quite Beyonce it, but he kind of tried to take Drake, that. Drake doesn't need to, what is a rollout for Drake? It doesn't exist. Hey, I'm Drake, here's some music. That's, that's what he proved, for sure. Needs to do. That's what he proved. Yeah, that's what it's like when you're the biggest rapper. I think we think too much about things like that. I felt say, but like, if it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. The thing I care about is that the music is great. And whether he progresses or not, he always tends to change and give you something that's new and a new way to approach his music or his life because he's telling the story at the end of the day. So you can never be mad at that. All right, so what about Future on the flip side? We know they work together, but what about Future's solo album, Dirty Sprite 2? Future has a huge following. He had a ton of great mixtape. He had albums before this, but I feel like this year Future Hendrix was on another level. Because everyone was copying Future. Well, not copying, but everyone was following the footsteps of Future for a really long time. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it came full circle for him. It's like, oh, this is the stuff that we've been listening to for the past couple years. And this is what, the, you know, it kind of originated as. This is the best version of it. So, of course, it's going to do well. Are you a fan? Of course, everybody loves Future. Sure. What about Future and Drake together? What a time. I don't know. I feel a lot of people weren't as excited about the tape as they were about Drake's individual project and Future's individual project. Because it wasn't as much time put into it as, it as everything else was. Which is fine, though. Know? It was great for what it was. But they're never, they're, of course people aren't as excited because you have to think about how much time they put in both of those projects. Do you ever say, what a time? 
or jump man, jump man, jump man. Never. You're not. You're never. You're never taking those and. Soldier Boy has a very good jump man freestyle. Like amazing jump man freestyle. Shout out Soldier Boy, man. We didn't forget about you. Soldier Boy's yeah, been right. around, still around. Or Bow Wow. Yeah, right? man. We'll, we'll never forget about Bow Wow. But... <laughs> so Vince, a lot of great albums came out this year. We talked about Drake, Future. Obviously, those are huge. But I thought some of the best albums this year. Your album was great. Big Sean also put out a great album. I'm wondering what were the ones that personally you really loved. Adele. <laughs> Here we go again. How many times have you listened to this Adele album? Once. Just one time. That's all I needed. needed. All right. I hate that I even have to ask, but <clears throat> what's your prediction for 2016? Who's going to win the year, Vince? I don't know who's putting out an album in 2016. Are you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who's uh, doing anything in 2016. But I'm waiting for LeBron James to go fully bald and come <laughs> with the full head of hair. It's gonna happen sooner or later. Wait, come with the full head or come with the full? Yes, I feel like when LeBron wins the championship in Cleveland, he's gonna come with just an afro. Mm, just no shame. Full plugs. Right. Plugging everything. I can see it happening. They're like the Kobe afro or just like the Dr. Nah, King? like the Ben Wallace. The Ben Wallace, oh. Wow. Actually, LeBron just might pull up with braids. Stop it. <laughs> Fetty Wap did it. Yeah, he did. but he got dreads, not even braids. That's next level. Yeah, so LeBron might come with the full corn rolls. I'm really looking forward to like, 2026, to be honest. What? Cause Tell I need, me about that year. I'm You're gonna to, be quitting Twitter. I'm trying that to see year. Kanye West's son on the AAU basketball court. <laughs> you think he's gonna be nice? Have you seen Kanye West play basketball? No. Not really. I That's a little why bit he here said there. that. It, okay, we'll talk later. It gets crazy. Really? We gotta talk now. I think. It gets. We can't. We can't use the words that are used on that court. Come on, bro. Wow, Vince. Um, you just took it ten years ahead. Yeah, I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, no, no, no. Because you got to think about the future. The children are our future. 2016 will be like 2015. Rappers got to stop doing drugs. The kids have to stop doing drugs, you know what I mean? Let's Everyone has to stop tweeting. Yeah, talk. Yeah, let's Everyone needs to stop tweeting. Yeah. No more, more drugs, people no need to more go Twitter. outside. <laughs> okay. Hear Adele when they go outside. Exactly. That's Inevitably. why people don't, people don't leave the house. That's why they don't know Adele had the best year, because they haven't been outside. One, one of the most celebrated albums this year was Kendrick's To Pimp a Butterfly. You also get a lot of comparisons to Kendrick. I'm curious, how, like, how do you feel about those? And what do you think of the album? We get comparisons because we're black from the ghetto and we don't smoke weed. <laughs> so, and, we, and we rap. Uh, so not the most thoughtful comparison. We rap, think. that's, trust me, because we, we rap consciously, quote unquote, whatever uh -huh. that means. So we're black, we're from the ghetto, we don't smoke weed, and we're conscious. So we're over there in, in that box. It's me, him, and J. Cole. And What's it like in that box? Cole's pretty tall and must get uncomfortable. Yeah, he's, he's actually a very he's tall person. He's really person. tall. And I, we, I'm actually, we gotta call him after this because I need to see the jumper. Because he talk a lot about it, but I need to see Did the Did you see jumper. him in the celebrity game a few years ago? No, was he balling? I think he caught an alley-oop, to be honest. Yo, Cole is okay. nice. But I said ball. the jumper. He's tall. He needs to dunk. I, I need to see the jumper. Yeah. What are you going to remember for yourself about the year? I learned a lot about press use this year. That's it's really expensive? My year. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, that's what I learned. It's expensive, right? But if you're on the other side, uh -huh. it's lucrative. Uh, so are you look, on the other side? Look out! I don't know what I'm on. Like, I'm on a lot of things. You know what I mean? You know we don't we don't we don't we don't speak in what we dabble in. Right, right. <laughs> but yeah, man. If you if you fall into some money, kids, you know you get a get a workforce claim or something. You know, go open up that press juice bar, get HPP, high pressure pasteurization, save you a little bit of money, what? make it happen. There you have it. There it is. <laughs> Thank you, Vince. Thanks, man. I heard hello in a mall the other day. Just playing. Sad as hell. <laughs> Everybody shopping, crying. <laughs> we bonded. It was beautiful. Did you cry? Of course I cry. Did you shop? Time. Both of it. Oh, when I was there? Yeah. Were you crying I, and shopping? I just watched it happen. <laughs> I'm in the fan club. In. I knew it was coming. <laughs> and some kale. Eats kale. All right.